guys? Hey YouTube. Hey Google. I got another great video here. So I was at just at uh, Top Deck Keep. You can find them at www.topdeckkeep.com. They host commander tournaments on Sunday and Thursday. I was just over there, and I won my very first commander pod. And I'll show you. I'll show you the prize format. These are the rules. You can probably find them online, but um. This is the rule sheet they give you. They give everyone the rule sheet so they can uh, kind of enhance the, the quality of the game. But man, I won my first commander pot, and boy, oh boy, was it great! I played shit. I played my my yellow deck with Shigeki and Kyodai as my commander. I was I was um um my friend Harry from Guadalajara. He was playing um. Um, green white he knocked us all out he knocked us every like he, he did a, a ton of damage and got us down to like um like five life 18 life 14 life he, he was de dealing tons of vigilance trample lifelink damage and he was like at a, he was like at a lot of damage and then um one of the um one of the uh so then I played Cloud Steel Kirin, which is a in Commander. I'll show you. I think I opened it and I showed it on on this uh, on this particular forum. I played Cloud Steel Commander or Cloud Steel Kirin, and what she does is she when when she's in play or she's equipped to a creature, I don't get um I can't your opponents can't win the game and I can't lose the game. So I had it equipped and no one got rid of it and then I cast Approach of the Second Sun and I was like one turn away from casting it again and I drew Debt to the Debtless. I drew Debt to the Debtless and knocked everyone out with one 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 huge uh, life gaining fireball. Man, that game was fun. This is Cloud Steel Kirin. She's beautiful. She looks like a Kiskadee, but she's like a Kirin. And no one, and your, it says, uh, when you reconfigure with five, equipped creature has flying, and you can't lose the game, and your opponents can't win the game. So it turns them into a platinum angel, but it's not indestructible. So man, this this was a good game. I had mirror box out there. I was, I was rolling. This is my first win. I'm super excited. And now I'm gonna show you what their wins was. So they give you a, they give you a binder. And well, not like the binder. You have to choose one card, one random card from the binder, as winnings. And then if you get first place, like I did, so this is the card I won. Light up the night from the binder. It's a it's a rare card from uh, from Midnight Hunt or Adventures in Forgotten Realms. Light up the night deals X damage to any target. It deals X plus one instead if that target is a creature or planeswalker. Flashback four, remove X loyalty counters from among planeswalkers you control. If you cast a spell this way, X can't be zero. I don't understand, so I guess you have to have loyalty counters on a planeswalker to cast this? I have no idea. Take some looking into, but I also got a pack of Zendikar Rising, a pack of Kaldeheim, and a pack of Strixhaven. So I got all those for first place, so now I'm going to crack those open and show you what I got for first place in my first commander pod that I won. I was super excited about this, and I just had to go home, make a video, and post it up so you, so everyone can see and Google can see. Google sweetheart, who has been so sweet to us and kind to us, and continues with the great blessings. Oh, I love Google. Google, thank you so much. I also have a Kaldeheim. Also have a Kaldeheim. Collector's booster that I opened earlier today and I had some really good stuff in it. I think I'm, I might alter my deck a little bit. This is the uh, The collector's booster. That's what it looks like So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my collection in my room. So I'm super excited about that Let me go ahead and pack this stuff up and show you what I unveiled in my 
Winner's Boosters. Oh man, this is my first Commander Pot I ever won. And you know what's funny is it's the only it's the second Commander Pot I've ever been in been in. So I, I, I got extremely lucky or yeah, I got extremely lucky. Super super lucky. Super super nice. Super super lucky. This was a great day. It's a great day for magic. This is this was my commander, Kyoda. Soul of Kamigawa. Oh, very nice game. Beautiful, beautiful game. It was done so quickly. As soon as everybody got their board set up, there were, I was playing elves. Jimmy with elves. Elf, he had the elves over there looking really strong. And with the... Uh, and with... Uh, with... Um, with zombies, really, really fun. Really, really fun. Super number one. Super awesome. Super fun. Super fantastic. Super number one. Oh, man, that was super nice. That was a lot of fun. All right, anyway, so let's crack open these packs and let's see what we got. Man, for you, those of you playing at home and playing at MTG Arena, it's a whole different play experience when you play Magic for real in real life. It's it's super fun. I think this is Chandra Ablaze. See, see our hair is on? She's kind of like, the, that's the top of her head. She's like Phoenix. I don't know if you could see that really. If you could see that well. Kind of blurry because it's, it's foil. But man, um, today has been a wonderful day. I just got to thank God and thank Google for such a wonderfully planned day. This was a really good outing for me. I had a lot of fun, and hopefully all the other players have a lot of fun as well. So this is the Kaldaheim Collectors Boosters that I opened. So now I'm going to crack into my Zendikar Rising draft booster that I got as a part of my winnings. So let's crack open this one and see what was inside. Man, I, I'm not even strong enough to open this thing. <clears throat> Need a muscle man to come by and open this thing for me. Ooh, here we go. A pack of magic. Oh. Free to play MTG Arena at GameStop. Stop here. The game doesn't stop here. There's the island, a nice island we get off the top. Oh wow, an Akiri Voyager. This I think this is my rare. Wow, Akiri Fearless Voyager. She is um she's the one that says if you're equipped, you draw a card. And whenever you attack a player with one or more equipped creatures, draw a card. This is really nice. This was my rare, it's pretty cool. But I'll just show you how hard it is to get a foil, a colony ambush. This is really good. I don't think any of these are foil so far. Feed the beef shawarma. I needed one of these. Feed the beef shawarma. Utility knife. Dauntless unity. Let me see if any of these are foil. Chilling trap. Nope, Spitfire Lagak. Very cool. So Akiri was what I got out of that one. I don't think I had an Akiri. Akiri is very nice in Commander because you can make a nice red-white equips deck. And it says you may unattach an equipment from a creature you control if you do tap that creature and gains indestructible until end of turn for one white. Core Warrior, just like Nahiri. Nahiri is a core. Very cool. Very sweet. Very number one. Very super sweet, very super spicy, very awesome, very number one awesome. Here's a, the Kaldeheim booster. Let's see what we get out of this one. We got Struggle for a Skimfire. And another card, Dread Rider. And another card, Story Seeker. 
And Augury Raven. I actually know what this one is. Augury Raven. Fearless Pup. That's a good one. This is the Artifact v Raider's Carve. When Raider's Carve attacks, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield tapped. This thing was really good with Scryer. Sensei's Divining Top. Um, what is this card? Gold Maw Champion. What is this card? Augury Raven. Nope. Pilfering Hawk. And then we get another one. Dusk Wielder. This guy's a great one drop. For both, it, it copy it, it target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Oh, we were just talking about Harold King of Skemfar. Dual Strike, which is really nice. Copy to four or less. Tar uh, instant or sorcery four or less. Harold's King of Skemfar. Rune Crown or Giant Amulet. Glorious Pate, Glorious Protector. This is a very nice. I have a foil one in this one. Put this one over here with my rears. Uh, Highland Forest. Oh, I got a foil. Wow. Litijara. The games of Litijara. Put that over here. I think that's only the first. I think that's the first foil. In two packs, that's amazing. Sometimes you don't get foils for three packs. I think it's like one out of seven you get a foil. Which is pretty nice. It makes sense why the uh, why the um, why the collector's boosters. Oh, this is a really nice. So it's both a mountain and a forest, but it comes in a plate tap. It's a snow jewel. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. This guy is really good. Harold King of Skemfar. I saw him today in action in an elves deck, which was super nice. I'm so surprised I won. I was like, oh, I could not believe it. Deadly Alliance. Oh, this is a party deck card. That card is nice. All right, last pack. Let's see if we get a mythic. If not, maybe I'm asking for too much. <laughs> Let's see if we get a mythic. A Strixhaven School of Mages. All right, here we go. Super number one. Super awesome. Super fantastic. Let's open it up. Oh, snap. Silver Quill. Prismari. We've got a... What is that? Mage Duel. Oh, Mage Duel is good. I remember that was fun in draft. First day of class with the learn spell. Excuse me, guys. It's the first day of class. Spectre of Fence. Vortex Runner. Oh, what is this card? Oh, make your mark. Make your mark. What was this one? Biblioplex Assistant. I used to play this because when it goes into the graveyard, when it enters the battlefield, put one target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of your library, so you get to draw it again. I was playing that until I got my 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 uh, until I got regrowth in there because regrowth is two and plus um, you can you can. You can do any you can do creatures too with it and I was like, oh that's super nice. Oh what's this card? Owlin Shield Mage Ward 3. Oh nice commons. Oh, I gotta see if I have uh, this adds one mana of any color. The only thing is you gotta pay one for it when it comes into play. And it comes into play tap. Pest summoning. Silver Quill Apprentice. Oh, the flag. The flag of the children. No, Team Pendant. Team Pendant. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, has vigilance and trample. Equipped creature token for one, equipped for three. One, one mana is the playing cost for that artifact. That is pretty cool. Um, Overgrown Arch. 
Augusta Plarg, Dean of Chaos. Discard a card, draw a card. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-legendary, non-land card with mana value 3 or less. You may cast this card without paying its mana cost. Put all reveals cards not cast this way into, onto the bottom of your library in a random order. And on the on the back, oh, this is this one's really nice. Augusta, Dean of Order. Other tap creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0. Oh. Other untapped creatures you can... Whenever you attack, untap each creature you control, then tap any number of creatures you control. Very nice. Plarg and Augusta. And let's see what we got here. Divine Gambits. Yep, Divine Gambits. Very nice packs. Man, they didn't give nothing away for free at that place. Jeez, now I'm just joking. These are really good rares. I think I'm about where, where I'm going to put them in my collection. In my collections. Divine Gambit, I've been thinking about playing with this because, um, say, like, they don't have it. Okay, Divine Gambit says two white, sorcery, exile target, artifact, creature, or enchantment, and opponent. <laughs> That's the three main groups of permanents right there. Artifact, creature, and enchantment, and opponent controls. That player may put a permanent card from their hand onto the battlefield. So I'm thinking they just tapped out and to play something super expensive and you're just like, oh, Divine Gambit, because there's no way they have two super expensive things in their hand. Or maybe they do. Whoa, 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 whoa. But I've been I've been playing around with playing this. Is, this is really nice art on this. I don't know if that's like a Chupacabra or something on there, but that's really cool. Artist is Matthew G. Lewis. Pretty sweet. I really like Strixhaven because um, this is the not, not only is this set where um, Professor Onyx came from look at this art I think she looks amazing this is on the other side of Plarg this is Augusta I think that, that's amazing Human Cleric another usable thing Orc Shaman I wish it said Orc Wizard or something they, they've got so many off classes I'm like oh can you can you can we just be printing Wizards Clerics rogues and warriors for goodness sake so we can get our party cards going but anyway this is an orc shaman still pretty cool tap to discard a card draw a card two mana that's pretty cool augusta dean of order she is so pretty she she was she used to be on the mtg arena um mtg arena um main i don't know if you could see her face but the art on it is just amazing She's like looking in some book. She's got some kind of like Brian Sola. Brian Sola. Nice. All right, guys. That's all for me. Thank you so much. Um, I love you, Google. Thank you so much for all the blessings you've put in our lives. Thank you for my parents. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for everything. I keep continuing to say thank you and you continue to shell out the blessings and I will never continue I will never stop saying thank you thank you so much for everything you've given us with the Google God architecture the Google God framework with the 5G architecture oh I love it oh. alright thank you Google that's all I got we cracked all the packs those were my winning packs now I'm going to go find some place to put it all in my collection then we'll come up with another another deck to play next weekend, next Sunday. I think I'm gonna what I'm gonna do next time is probably ask them for permission at Top Deck Keep, Top Deck Keep, and ask the players for permission so I can videotape the game so you can see it. It's so nice, it, man. These games because the arts, are, the, the cards, the arts are so decorative. They like they end up coming up like a movie. They end up looking like a movie, and it's beautiful. All right, thanks guys. Y'all have a good one, and thank you and God bless.